the monetary system and the banking system. The two sisters, which has come from the modern Western world. It creates bogus money, which it then uses to enrich itself unjustly. And in the process, it impoverishes the rest of the world. And every Jew knows that. And every Christian used to know that once upon a time. Except that today, the Christian world seems to be forgetting that this was prohibited by the Lord God. Money being lent on interest. Allah, the one God, has declared war, both He and His Prophet. Allah's blessing be upon him, have declared war on riba. And the rich who lend on interest will remain permanently rich and the poor will consequently be imprisoned in permanent poverty. Money being lent on interest therefore corrupts and destroys the free and the fair market. Money lent on interest does not qualify as business because the money lender wants to make only a profit and never suffer a loss. The governor of the Central Bank of Germany, a few months ago I think, came out in the open and said let's get rid of this misconception. The bank is not lending you money that you have deposited in the bank. No. The bank is lending you fictitious money and lending it to you on interest. The change in 1944 from a world in which the sterling pound ruled the world of paper money to one in which the US dollar will replace the sterling pound as the international currency marked the transition from Pax Britannica to Pax Americana. Those who worship the one God how do we respond to this challenge? In Surah to Room of the Quran, it offers us a contrast between riba or usury and charity. An act of charity would be defined as to give and to take nothing in return. That's charity. Russia is leading the way, supported by China, in challenging the petrodollar monetary system. It will be a war that will be unique in history. Armageddon is not going to be fought over Syria or ISIS or Ukraine. <laughs> the great war is being fought by those who want to control the world of money. Where were the scholars of Islam? Where were the scholars of Judaism? Where were the scholars of Christianity? Where were the scholars of Hinduism? What happened to the world of religion for these 50 years that you hardly had a squawk of a voice protesting and challenging this ominous movement away from real money to bogus money.